To start, I'll get Countries and Disputed Areas. Download both and unzip them into a project folder. Import both the shapefiles into QGIS by choosing Add New Vector Layer. Just select the shapefiles and the whole data will be imported. Each shapefile will appear on its own layer in the bottom left. You can zoom in, then toggle them on and off to see the different areas they cover. I'll use the shape from the disputed layer to trim the countries layer. Add a new temporary scratch layer. Then select disputed, choose edit, copy, and paste. Click edit again to save your changes. This layer now just contains Western Sahara. Use the difference command under vector. Select the countries layer as the input and use the new scratch layer to trim it. Name and save the new layer, then add to the workspace. This new layer now has a missing piece from the difference operation. To tidy up the stray geometry, zoom in, use the node tool to select points, and pull them out so that the parts may be more easily deleted. Click Edit to save your changes. The other files in the zip contain information about the countries. Click on Morocco, then choose View Attribute Table to scroll down and see this information. I can toggle the Disputed Areas layer to see that it is now a perfect fit. However, this layer contains all the disputed areas and I only want Western Sahara. View Attributes to see that I have it selected. With this layer edited, I can copy just the country I want and then create a new shape layer. Name and save this new shape file, then add it to the workspace. This new shape file has a single country, which you can verify by clicking the View Attribute table. Under Data Management Tools, I can choose Merge Shapefiles to One to combine the single Western Sahara shape with the edited Countries layer. This will save a new shapefile that contains the modified borders. I can edit the country data with the attribute table, then save to have a clean shapefile ready to be used in other applications.